And I came in the garage to try to crank up my car and the battery was dead. And I was like, yo, I just drove this car like two weeks ago. And I realized that my jump starter was in the house. So I go into the house, get my jump starter, the lights come on. So we can... Howdy folks, you on the Seek on the Speed 252 show. Scroll over to the right, click that subscribe button, and join this awesome community. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Seek on the Speed 252. And I want to thank each and every single one of you for pushing that play button today. If you haven't had an opportunity yet to hit that subscribe button, please do. I would love to have you part of this community. I would love to have you part of this journey. And I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of you. So I'm making this video on my phone because I left my GoPro upstairs and I realized, hey, I'm changing my car battery. So, All right, guys. So as you guys know, this is my 2017 Corvette. And I had it now. Um, I brought it brand new. So I'm the first owner of it. But... I came here the other day to drive this bad boy to the gym because we finally got a little bit of nice weather. And guess what? The battery was dead. It was absolutely dead. And so I put my jump pack on it and that didn't do anything either. So at that point, I then proceeded to borrow my friend's battery charger and that didn't get the battery charged. It said it was a bad battery. So the battery is now six years old. I'm trying to take it out and get it to the dealership. So I don't know if you guys ever like did any battery swaps in your C7 Corvette before, but Today, we're gonna to do a battery swap in my C7 Corvette. So, let's see here. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy started. Now, some of you may ask me, what exactly is this cord? This cord actually goes to my light. I got a light system underneath this car. Um, so, you guys won't see this if you gotta change out your own batteries in your own car. Just to give you a heads up. Some of you may be like, what is this extra wire? I don't have this in my car if I'm missing something. No, I just have a light kit and my wheels and the inside of the car. And so that's what you will see. Got that off. So now I just need to take off these two bolts right here. That's the bracket to hold it on. So now this battery should come out. So you don't want to get stuck with having a bad battery. So this is a new battery, like I said. And what is crazy was I had to take off this post, that, unscrew this, unscrew that, unscrew this, take this off, and then take these bolts off, one right here, one right there, take this whole thing out. And to be quite honest with you, it wasn't as 
difficult, but it wasn't easy either because this battery is really huge and this place is really small. Like you really have to kind of adjust it a little bit to make it make sense to you and to make it fit the car too. Now, once again, some of you guys may ask, what is this? This is actually goes to my light kit. It's, um, I have a light kit that's underneath the wheels in the car. If you guys seen some of my old videos, I have lights on this car. I never had lights on my C8 because I didn't really think I was going to put on the car and I never did, but I did enjoy them on this car and still do. Um, there is a fuse that goes to this. So I take the fuse out so it doesn't drain the battery down. And so when I want to use the lights, I kind of put the fuse back in the fuse box so I can use the lights. But it's one of those things, like I said before, this is the General Motors um, AC Delco battery that comes with Corvette. So it's the exact replica, the exact replacement of the original one that came out. And I paid $129 for with a discount. But without a discount, it is $159. Um, and, but AutoZone sells, I think, three or four versions uh, with different warranties. One that was $108, one that was $129, $180, and then like $250 or something like that. And you know, I was just like, let me just go back to Hendrick and see if they got something to replace it. They did, and I really appreciate it. You can also see um, on the front of this, I guess I should have took a picture of it. It does have a 42-month warranty on this, which is a pretty solid warranty because my old battery that came with the car lasted for six years. Um, like I said, this car is 2017, and it worked out great. Didn't have any issues. And the battery did die on me in the past, but it wasn't due to the fact that it was a bad battery. I just didn't charge it. Um, I'll keep it on a trickle charger. And I also had the fuse in one night and it killed the battery. So I needed to buy myself a trickle charger as well for this car going forward. So for all of you guys who actually own a Corvette, please tell me where you got you guys trickle chargers from. I know some of you guys use the ones that kind of go in the outlet right here. And some of you guys use the ones that go to the outlet there, right there. But some of you guys also have trickle chargers that you can use that will actually go on the battery post. Which one do you think is actually a lot better? Um, this also came in a battery as well, which is the red, and this is a negative. And I use these tools right here. This is all I use to actually get the battery post on and off. This is actually what my jump pack came in, which is also in the house charging right now. And this is what goes back here once I set everything back up, you guys. And this actually goes back on the battery itself, uh, facing this direction, which is obviously the plus for the hot right here. And this is my Seagona Speed 252 uh, license plate logo. So once again, you guys, this is my C7 for all of you who are new to the channel, who have never seen this car before. Um, that's my, obviously, YouTube channel that you're actually on right now. So definitely, you know, hit that subscribe button, become part of this awesome community. I would love to have you. I truly would love to have you part of this community and grow with us. It's been a phenomenal ride having this car. I really appreciate this car so, so very much. I appreciate each and every one of you for just joining this episode and seeing me, you know, sort of kind of put this battery in and out of the car. And, you know, it's fairly easy to do. I wouldn't say this video will teach you how to take it out and put it back in, but just looking at it, you know, for the most part, it's pretty simple. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are pretty technology savvy and, and this is pretty simple. So I believe you guys have the power to be able to do it. I believe you women have the power to do it if you want to install your own battery. But like I said before, I advise you, if your car cranks up, take it to AutoZone, take it to, to the dealership, get them to test the battery just in case and make sure it's not dying. Because if it is, they can replace it for you with a heart, I mean, just a snap of a finger. Whereas with me, I had to drive over there, bring it back, do all these fun things in order to actually get this battery taken care of. So, no, I got a 2017 Corvette. Um, I love this car, great car. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get rid of it unless there was some major thing and I hope that's not the case. Um, I really do enjoy driving this car. It's one of my most favorable, good looking Corvettes, body style wise. I wrapped it, I did all these wonderful great things to it, I added wheels, exhaust, etc. But one day, I was heading to the gym, or at least we were to head to the gym, and I came in the garage to try to crank up my car and the battery was dead. And I was like, yo, I just drove this car like two weeks ago. And I realized that my jump starter was in the house. So I go into the house, get my jump starter, the lights come on, so we good, right? No, this battery was absolutely dead, dead. I mean, dead, dead. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, if my jump pack isn't strong enough to jump it, then maybe I can just charge the battery. So I drove my Prius to the gym, met my buddies, asked my buddies, you got a, you know, another battery charger or a jump pack of some sort that's stronger than mine. He gave me his battery charger. I put in a battery charger for like three hours, came back outside, it says bad battery. And I was like, geez, you know, bad battery, but without thinking, this car is six years old. So if I were you guys, do yourself a huge favor, go get a battery tester of some sort, because what, what was the pain in the butt was, I had to change this in my own garage. Whereas if I know it was gonna die or it was getting to that point, I would have drove it to the dealership, had those guys knock it out. Now it wasn't that big of a deal, but it was a deal, right? Cause I had to you know, take the battery out 
And it's not your normal, it's, the, it's your normal car battery, but you have to take off a bunch of other bolts just to get to the battery, just to be able to get it off. And it's just not your normal two post battery post. It's just, it is, but it's not in a sense for a Corvette. So I had to take this out, drive it to the dealership, take it to the dealership, bring the, old, the take the old one, bring the new one back to get this all sorted out. So I kind of all got it all back together. I'm super excited to actually drive the Corvette. Looks like it's actually supposed to rain today. So uh, I don't know if that's gonna happen. I really wanted to drive to the gym today. I still might, cause it's not really clean right now. But anyways, I do love driving this bad boy. And I was super excited to actually do another video on my C7 Corvette because, you know, C7 Corvette content has kind of gotten old for a lot of people. Uh, it's one of those things where I think a lot of people still watch C7 Corvette content, but it's really difficult for C7 Corvette content to kind of, you know, do well in this new community of the C8 mid-engine Corvette type of stuff. So there's a lot of people that still do it. And I want to continue doing C7 Corvette content too. I decided, you know, at some point maybe pro charging it, but I haven't really gotten to that point yet because I still have some low, little bit of a warranty left. So right now I'm just looking forward to actually just enjoying the car like it is still stocked, still doing little things to it here and there and making YouTube videos that you guys will enjoy. So as of today, we did replace the battery from the Hendrick dealership and it was about 159, but one of my buddies worked there. I used their discount, got it to 120, 129, something like that. Which, once again, you guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Thank you so much for being part of this community. And I look forward to seeing you again in another episode of Seagull and Speed 252. Oh. <laughs>